Manufacturing is vital to the U.S. economy in general and maintaining our strong economic growth. As a manufacturing organization, we constantly face cost pressure on our products. There's also a, a regulatory scrutiny to ensure that we maintain the quality of our products. We need to be able to communicate to our suppliers, communicate to our customers, exchange data back and forth. All that's going to be based on cloud technology. Smart manufacturing allows manufacturing companies to optimize their production and supply networks through bringing together islands of information. Smart manufacturing, which is really about enabling that latest IT infrastructure to support manufacturing, is really vital for us to be cost competitive on a global basis. I've been at Pfizer for 34 years, and this is one of the most important manufacturing technology breakthroughs that I've seen during that time. Manufacturing stands on the brink of a new industrial revolution. While the last revolution was powered by engineering innovation, this one is driven by unprecedented access to data. These new revolutionary advances merge both physical and virtual worlds, opening doors to completely new areas of innovation, making manufacturing far more cost-effective, efficient, sustainable, and safe. But smart manufacturing faces significant challenges too, requiring a new IT infrastructure that all U.S. manufacturers and suppliers can access and contribute to while maintaining their individual security and proprietary systems. The potential for smart manufacturing to drive new business opportunities and create new jobs is so compelling that leaders from many organizations are working together to make it a reality. At General Mills, we're looking for smart manufacturing to solve a number of problems. We have a project that today solves a supply chain issue from field to fork. It looks like it's going to cost about $10 million. It's going to take us about two years to execute. What I'd be looking for is for smart manufacturing to change the scale of that in an order of magnitude. Instead of $10 million, $1 million. Instead of 18 months, do it in a couple months. Smart manufacturing is powered by the development of new tools that allow manufacturers to make better use of data. Smart manufacturing is making something with that data. So understanding it, looking for the correlations between different data points, and using that information to make intelligent decisions which allow us to control our processes but also to predict what's going to happen and manage that to be able to optimize those processes. Advancements in sensor technologies also play a role by making it possible for manufacturers to create cyber physical systems. The role of smart manufacturing in uh, collaborative cyber physical systems is to really bring together people, process, data and things and it's enabled by the emerging Internet of Things technologies. Using low-cost sensors, cyber physical systems monitor and collect data from manufacturing processes. These systems enable the physical world to merge with the virtual world, opening the door to innovative business solutions. Praxair is working with the Department of Energy and several universities and suppliers on a project in which one of their massive furnaces serves as a test bed. The goal is to develop the next generation IT infrastructure that other manufacturers can use to reduce their energy costs. A steam methane reformer is a very complex high temperature process used to make syngas and ultimately hydrogen. Chemical reactions take place in a large 40 by 40 by 40 foot reformer that operates at temperatures greater than 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very difficult to see what's going on inside those furnaces. So we really want to use the smart manufacturing platform to develop both new sensing technology and means to evaluate that data and figure out how to better model these furnaces and apply that information to improve both our operations and our new process design. Smart manufacturing allows companies to synthesize information in ways that have never been done before, creating a connected enterprise. Connected enterprise is about bringing together information that exists in a plant floor with information that exists in business systems and tying that together with the supply chain to optimize your production and the overall supply network. The challenge is each system independently has its own 
methodology of doing things. So in a smart manufacturing methodology, we would be able to connect these things to, together, we would have maps to do these things, and we'd be able to solve complicated problems. Pfizer is using smart manufacturing to develop remotely controlled processes and virtual laboratories to ensure a consistent supply of products globally. Pfizer has also created portable manufacturing platforms using similar concepts, allowing them to efficiently produce vaccines for children in the countries where they're needed most. One of our focus areas is develop small scale, modular, flexible versions of our larger manufacturing technologies. An example of that is right behind me. Smart manufacturing is really important to us in developing the control strategies for those manufacturing technologies and also in helping us to effectively deploy them throughout the world. Academic institutions play a critical role in preparing workers to use smart manufacturing tools. In Southern California, universities are also part of a coalition called AMP SoCal that's working together to create a regional IT infrastructure to support the local aerospace and defense industry. Our objective is to, is to apply smart manufacturing to radically improve productivity and radically improve product innovation and time to market, which we believe is the future uh, for the industries here in, in Southern California. We get a chance as universities, nonprofit organizations, large companies and small companies to work together to figure out how we all contribute to the value chain that is a product that we produce. Uh, but most importantly, it's not just sharing of information, it's putting that information in an actionable form. The Coalition in Southern California is creating a model of partnership and collaboration that represents an important first step. What really needs to happen to move smart manufacturing forward, to move this open platform forward, is we have to invest in developing the technology of open that all of us can play in the vendors, the customers, the companies, so that we can enable this aspirational vision of smart manufacturing for small, medium, and large companies. The Smart Manufacturing Leadership Coalition is helping to do exactly that. SMLC supports public-private partnerships with the sole purpose of raising and advancing a smart manufacturing infrastructure throughout the U.S. At Pfizer, we realize that we can't make smart manufacturing happen on our own. We need investment and support from other pharmaceutical companies and from the academic institutions that help us develop these technologies. And that's what's so exciting about smart manufacturing is we're bringing together a coalition of people, a coalition of resources to tackle a problem that has been too large for any one industry, any one vendor, any one company to solve by themselves. Participate with us, join with us, invest with us, and get us to this common open platform that allows us to interact our businesses together. Smart Manufacturing Leadership Coalition. Building infrastructure, powering smart decisions.